What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dub Did It coming at you live and direct with another video. And uh, lately, there's been some trolls commenting saying that uh, they followed my directions and they messed up their cooks and a bunch of stupid stuff like that. And first of all, I just wanted to say, don't try any of this stuff at home. It's freaking illegal. Second, there's no way to mess up a cook. And third, if you're getting bad work to begin with, and you try whipping it up, it's still going to be bad work. You ain't going to get nothing out of it. So uh, if you got a problem, man, go talk to your plug, not me. Nerd shit, man, work on your skills. Now, there are a few times uh, that I, I, I messed up. It took me quite a few times before I, I figured it out. I probably wasted about a thousand US dollars worth of stuff trying to perfect the method. But eventually I got it and eventually I figured there's no way to screw it up. Now the first time that I, I did try it, ah, I did screw it up pretty bad. Like it was a, a disastrous sort of deal where there was no coming back from it. I, uh, I was, you know, I just started hustling and bustling. And I was buying ready-made from some dudes, right? And uh, the stuff was it, was, it was decent. I mean, it was better than what the people in my neighborhood were used to. But it was wet. It was holy. I mean, basically, I was paying for uh, a lot of extra air and water. And that just didn't sit right with me. Not one bit. So, uh, what I went ahead and was I started my research. Right, I had to figure out the key on how to become a cook, how to whip work. So I went on on the internet at the time, and during those days, there was no Mr. Dub Did It on YouTube giving these kind of secrets out. Uh, the stuff you would find on YouTube was, uh, I'm sorry, the stuff you would find on the internet back then was um, either just complete BS or it was methods for cooking small, small amounts. Uh, or, you know, fake websites put up by the DEA, I guess. I don't know. Nothing that I found back then was, uh, you know, reliable. So, I went ahead and I started asking my friends who all claimed to have known how to do it. And this and that, blah, blah, blah. And none of them knew how to do anything. They were all full of crap. Um... So then I went ahead and I started looking into my pool of customers. I figured, you know, these guys have been, you know, in the game, you know, in whatever aspect for many decades. And I'm sure somebody picked up the method somewhere down the line. And I had a couple people try to help me out. The first one was uh, some lady. Uh, she was cool. She, why didn't I use her? Oh, yeah. Um, I decided not to go with her as my helper. Because the way that she said she was going to do it was foreign to me at the time. She said she was going to use a coffee mug and a microwave and all this and that. I said, man, that don't sound right. And uh, you got to keep in mind, man, this was back in the day, you know, when I didn't know too much about it. So I turned down her help. And I went with this other guy. Uh, this guy, he was one of my first customers. He brought me a lot of my licks. I owe a lot of my early success to this dude. So I trusted him, right? I told him, look, bro, if you know how to do this, I'll hook you up. Man, he's a smoker. So, of course, he's going to say, yeah, sure, bud. That sounds good. I'll be right there. So the first red flag that came up was uh, when he showed up at my house, he had an empty jam jar with him. <laughs> Not a pirate's glass, but an empty jam jar. And I asked him, is that going to work? It's not going to break over an open flame. He's like, no, nah, my buddy said it should be okay. I said, your buddy said? I thought you knew how to do it. Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm just, I just got some extra tips and stuff like that. I'm like, ah, all right, man. And right then and there, I should have stopped. It. I should have said, nah, this, this don't sound right. But I was eager to, you know, move on. on uh, I was eager to up my game. You know what I'm saying? I, I, was, I was eager to get away from buying that ready-made crap so um, we went ahead and we got started we mixed everything together and we put it over the open flame it's probably about two three hundred bucks worth of dope and 
to my horror, <laughs> this jam jar breaks over the empty flame and everything falls all over the stove and into the little holes and there's no saving it, it's gone. I was, I was a bit upset, but I did tell old boy, I said, look, man, I'm not going to hold it against you, you know, so don't sweat it if we mess up. And sure enough, we messed up. And uh, I said, you know what, man, here, take your little piece and just go home. Go ahead, get out of here before I do get upset. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I said, dude, just get that out of here, man. <laughs> After that, I did try it one more time. This time, we had mixed results. Uh, this is right after my buddy messed it up. You know, I went ahead and I bought me some more ready-made. But my brother came along. He's like, look, you know, let's try to cook it one more time. You know, I'll, I'll give you half the money. That way you're not risking too much. And, you know, just break me off a little bit of cash or whatever when you, when you get it right. I said, all right, cool, man. Let's try it. So, you know, we're doing this ourselves. We, you know, said, screw it. I'm not going to pay attention to what anybody else told us. Let's just do it how we think we should do it. And we got everything together. We got the baked soda. We got the work. We got the water, the Pyrex, everything, 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 right? And uh, the mistake that we made, that I think we made, was we put everything in and we stirred it all together. Before we even cooked it, we just stirred it all up. And uh, we put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. And we took it out. And the water was murky, man. It was like cloudy, murky. We couldn't see what we had. I could tell you there was no cookie in there. Um, so we, what did we do? We put it in the refrigerator for, you know, about 30 seconds because that's what we thought we had to do. And we took it out. We poured out the water. And uh, all that was in there was a bunch of freaking crumbs. Now, it, most of it came back, though. But, like I said, it was all crumbs. And my brother was like, oh, man, screw, we messed up. He was ready to go sell everything for 10 bucks because he thought we ruined it i said no hold up man i said let's call somebody over here to test it out so he called somebody over to test it out and it was good you know what i mean so we ended up getting the money back i gave him his money back but at that point i was like you know what i'm not going to try this out until you know i get somebody for sure for sure that knows how to do it but around that time i actually met another connect and this dude only sold soft right and, you know, he, he heard about me. He knew that I could move work. And, you know, he was eager to start doing business with me. So what he said was, uh, look, you buy this off from me at this low price. I'll go to your house and I'll cook it up for you. And I'll only charge you, you know, X amount of dollars. I, I jumped on it because the amount that he was charging me for the work was sweet. And the amount that he was charging me to cook it was even better because down here you got to pay quite a bit of money to get somebody to whip some work up for you straight up so uh you know we went down that route and we did that for about four or five times and six times he finally comes over he's like look man he's uh you got to learn how to do it yourself i'm going to teach you how to do it that way i don't have to do this every time it's even better for me so he came through about you know three or four times and gave me a little tips and tricks on how to get it done you know he taught me the trade the first time that i did it though i, I wouldn't call it a mess up um, it actually came out like uh shoot man it looked like a big thing of cauliflower that's the only way that i explain it <laughs> but it was good though she would chop it down and you know it went quick after that and business picked up i was in the money for sure work the word around town was dub had the dope Dub had the work. Dubs was the bomb. And then the drought happened. But that's a story for another episode. The main point that I wanted to bring up was there's no way to mess it up. Like, there just wasn't. You know, people say, oh, you know, you do it wrong this way. The only way you're going to mess it up is if you're an idiot or something disastrous happens. Like your jelly jam jar breaks. Other than that. It's quite easy to get yourself locked up in prison for you know, 5, 10, maybe even 20 years by trying to cook the stuff up. So just don't freaking do it, right? Because it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of mess ups. Just don't do it. But anyways, that's the end of this. Look out, subscribe, share, uh, all that other stuff. Like, like yeah. And uh, yeah, later.